so dear students so most important questions in bca first year first semester the subject is programming in c please uh, subscribe my channel anu computer education so in future whatever the videos i am going to do in okay that i am going to upload in my channel so once you subscribe the channel you will get immediately notifications regarding my new videos okay please don't forget to subscribe okay so i am going to explain the important questions in programming in c the first question is uh, so in unit 1 the first question is what is number system and explain in detail so what is the meaning of number system and why we are using number system so different types of number system like hexadecimal number octal number binary number okay binary number so all these hexadecimal numbers we have to explain about all these things okay so first you have to write about the definition of number system after we have how many different types of number systems are there that everything we have to explain in detail so the next question is what is the what is data type and different uh, types of data types okay so what is the meaning of data type you know data type is nothing but a type of value which we can store it in a variable so the, without a data type concept you are unable to store any value in the variable so once you create any variable before creating the variable what type of value you want to store in the variable then we need to use the concept called as data type so you know already in c language we have so many different types of data types are there like uh, integer float double character like short int long int like so many different types of data types are available in c language so we have to write now you know remember when you write any answers in uh, uh, c language the presentation is very very important you know this is very very important points what are the points i'm saying just follow these points in your final exam so you'll get good marks in c language so okay so the the first point is the whenever you write any concept first you have to write about the definition so the definition syntax and example so this is a pattern of writing the c language program even if you write complete theory okay you will not get marks so compulsory we have to write the definition and the syntax and after that example so everything examples means nothing but the program okay you have to explain in detail now so that is about you have to explain so now you know uh, when i'm talking about the data types every data type is having what internally size memory size will be there range will be there okay that everything we have to and uh, uh, memory size range so this everything will be there J everything we have to explain so next uh, write about uh, write about input and output statements in c like you know we have in order to provide any input to the program so, so see here whenever you write any c language program so user has to provide some input to the program so then immediately that input will be received by the program so what after that the c compiler will execute the program finally to generate the answer so what are the different types of input and output statements are there in c language like printf scanf like all different types of getters putters we have so many types of input and output functions are there so all these things we have to explain so the next very very important question is the uh, uh, what is operators uh, different types of operators so what is the meaning of operator you know an operator is nothing but is a, it is a symbol so which is used to perform a specific task so in c language we have total operators are categorized into three types unary operators binary operators and ternary operators you know all these operators you have to explain all these operators in detail with examples you have to explain so unary operator you know we have unary minus is there unary increment unary decrement so all this we have to explain in the binary it is comes to the binary operators arithmetical operator logical operator and assignment operator bitwise all these operators you have to explain so apart from this also we have some other operators are there those are operators are called as special operators like comma operator arrow operator dot operator operator so etc these are all called as uh, the special operators so next is what type conversion what is the meaning of type conversion type conversion is nothing but converting the one data type value into a another suppose if i created in one float variable so how to convert a float variable into integer format so that is nothing but the type casting or type conversion so converting from one data type into another is known as type conversion so we have to explain the definition and uh, Uh, after that we have to write about the some simple example program so remember so whatever the questions i am giving these questions will cover the long answers as well as short answers so no need of uh, learning the separate short answers so whatever the questions i given just go through with these questions it will cover both long and short so the next unit number okay next unit number unit number 2 unit number 2 write about the conditional control statement so what is the meaning of conditional control statement so whenever you execute any c language program based on some condition some certain part of the program you want to execute and uh, some part of the program you want to skip now so for that what is required the conditional control statements are there so we have different types of conditional control statements are there one is if simple if so switch 
if else else if slow these are all we have to write it that is nothing but conditional control statement so we have to write about the definition and we have to write about the syntaxes and you have to write about the simple example programs for all this so next important very very important question is write about the iterative statements it is also called as write about the different types of looping statements so it is also called as repetitive statements so it means what if you get in any question of this you have to write the same answer so what is the meaning of looping statement if you want to repeat a set of statements for n number of times until the specified condition is true suppose i want to display the message called hello for five times so we have to write the hello message or uh, in what you will write generally printf hello printf hello printf hello like five times you are going to write so what we are doing we are writing printf and hello message only one time so the same statement we are going to repeat five times so then what is need what is needed now looping statements are needed so that we have to explain so for, what are the different types of looping statements are there for while do while so all the looping statement definitions and syntaxes and you write any one of the looping statement one example program is more than enough so next after this next comes to come to the next third question from unit 2 is what is storage class uh, different types of storage class so what is the meaning of storage class you know when i'm talking about the storage class every storage class is having three three different points you need to remember one is scope and one is life and one is default value and which keyword we have to use so these four points you need to remember so what is the meaning of default value whenever you create a variable so if you don't store any value what type of value which will be stored in by the compiler that is that is nothing but the default value and where it will store in the memory it is stored in the ram or it is stored in the stack so where it is storing that information we have to mention so what is the default value what is the storage uh, and this we have to explain we have you know already in c language we have total four different types of storage classes are there one is auto register extern extend and intern so all this uh, we have to so this we have to explain so next is what very very important concept is what is function explain in detail so what is the meaning of function uh, it is about the user defined function so you know already whenever a function is nothing but a self contained sub program so whenever okay you create any function so what every function is having three different points will be there how to create a function so function declaration function call and function definition so these are all these things we have to explain in detail now so all these de definitions along with syntaxes after that you have to write one simple example program so we have to explain the functions in detail now definition of what is a user defined function a function which is created by the user is known as user defined function so we, you know already in functions concept in functions are how many types of functions are there two types of functions are there one is predefined function and one is user defined function so we have to uh, uh, predefined functions are nothing but like printf, scanf, uh, or string handling functions are there. All these functions are called as predefined. So already these functions are defined. Just we are using those functions. So we we are nothing is there about the uh, predefined function. So what is the meaning of user defined function? So how to create a user defined function? So suppose in future I want to create my with my name one, one function. So then we need a concept called as user defined function. So next question is. Uh, what is an array an array is a collection of storing similar type of values in a single variable so in one variable if you want to store multiple values but that two of same type then you go go for the concept called as arrays in c language you know already arrays arrays are how many types of arrays are there we have different types of arrays are there 1d array 2d array multi-dimensional arrays so when you get this question you have to write about all these definitions first definition of an array how to create an array syntax we have to write and one simple example after that what are the different types of arrays are there 1d array definition and 1d array syntax and 2d array definition and 2d array syntax after that you write 1d or 2d one simple example program you have to explain so next question is uh, uh, write about the uh, write about what binary search so what is the meaning of binary search so we have to explain the concept along with one program so next to bubble search so these two things you have to these are two uh, related to the program so next question is unit number four what is string different types of string handling functions so what is the meaning of string you know already a group of characters which are enclosed in double quotation is nothing but string you know already string we have different types of string handling functions are there like uh, string uh, string length next to string compare string upper string lower okay string reverse string concatenation okay string length so we have do so many different types of string handling functions are there in c language there are all the string handling functions we have to explain so after writing all the string handling function definitions so finally what we have to do we have to use at least two to three different types of string handling functions and you have to write the one simple example program so that is what the meaning of string handling function so next key concept is what is pointer how to pass a pointer to the function so first we have to write about the pointer you know what is the meaning of pointer a pointer is nothing but a special variable which is used to store the address of another variable so it means we are creating one special variable so that in that variable we are storing the other variable address so that is called as pointer here so 
so once you create a pointer then how to pass this point to the user defined function that we have to explain with one example program so that is nothing but this program so when it is comes to the question number 3 write about the arrays of pointer and how to pass an array to function so we have to create an array con array array definition you write here function definition you write and uh, you create an array and you create one function and pass this array to this function now so that we have to explain with per program so that we have to write it so next to you can, when it is comes to the unit number five so enumerated data type. what is the meaning of enumerated you know already if you want to assign any integer constants so then we need a concept called enumerated data type so enum it is also called as enum or enumerated enumeration so these are all are same so we have to write about this program with some simple example so like example what is structure you know what is a structure structure is a collection of storing dissimilar values in a single variable is known as structure so uh, what is the difference between the arrays and structure arrays is nothing but collection of storing similar type of values so here we are storing different different values in single variable so that is called as this concept so that we have to explain so how to create a structure and next how to pass structure to function so everything we have to explain in detail now so we have to write everything in there whatever the questions i'm explaining all this we have to explain this one simple example programs okay so next is what is union how to pass a union to function so what is the meaning of union so how to create a union and union what is the difference between the next after creating the union you uh, just how to pass union to the function so first you have to explain the definition of union and function definition and you create one union and pass that union to the function so that everything you have to explain so the next question the last question from this unit uh, uh, why is what is the difference between structure and union so you need to explain about the two concepts that is one is structure and one is union so just creative union and structure so we have to write the dis differences between structure and union so last question is nested structure so what is the meaning of in one structure inside the another structure if you create that is called as nested structure so you have to explain about this concept please subscribe my channel anu computer education so in future whatever the uh, subjects you are going to have in future semester so that all related uh, semester subjects related videos i'll be going to do now that i'm that videos i'm going to upload in my channel so please subscribe my channel anu computer education so that in future whatever the videos i'm going to upload in my channel immediately you'll get a notification so that you can go through with the those videos okay thank you